Hello, hello. I'm just back from Iceland and I uh, wanted to give a quick update on the current situation. So, uh, well, we are looking towards the possibility of yet another eruption in the Sundnoka area around Svartsengi and Grinnevik. And let me get you to the uh, Met Office webpage, which is still the best source at this point. And uh, I think you can see it now. So here it says that uh, deformation and seismic activity are similar to the situation prior to the previous Sundnuka eruptions, hinting at uh, the prospect that a similar pattern of events might unfold. And uh, then they're giving a calculation result of 20 uh, million cubic meters of magma that has accumulated under the Swartz-Engi system right now. And uh, also that the seismic activity uh, is intensifying and the 60 to 80 earthquakes per day are detected. So the system is getting more nervous, what that is, what that means. And the hazard error assessment is unchanged. So very quickly here, um, the uh, situation with the, the seismicity. So we have in the red stars, we have the eruptions, the previous eruptions. This one here did not yield to an eruption. It seems to be an interrupted pattern. But this one here is very clear and it nicely unfolds and it intensifies. And uh, this is also the situation we're having now from July into August here. This is from May into June. And uh, these are hard to resolve, but this one is very clear. And this pattern is a bit smaller, but it's clear as well. And this one too. So we are getting into uh, intensity, seismic intensity, that is uh, very much like the ones that we've seen before. So then the inflation, looking at the inflation patterns here. So this is the inflation episodes, the prior ones, most of them leading up to eruptions. And here's the current one starting in June, building up gradually and then intensifying in July up to August now. And here we have uh, more magma volume than in some of the previous episodes. So again, implying the system is uh, kind of getting ready for another eruption. The hazard assessment is, uh, well, that's the valid hazard map at this point. This is, was released yesterday. So this is uh, 24 hours old and midday yesterday. And uh, it's valid until August 20th, until further notice is given. And um, here we have different hazard zones. Here's the Blue Lagoon and Swartzengi power plants. This is the Grindavik Road. And here you see the lavas that went over there previously in uh, the... Uh, area between Thorburn and Grindavik and just north of the Blue Lagoon. And uh, they offer two scenarios. One is that uh, we might have an eruption here in this part again, Zone 3 in particular, but the other option is Zone 4. If Zone 3 applies, then we will likely have lava oozing out, coming down here within maybe two hours of the eruption starting up here, maybe a little longer say three. Uh, but then uh, there are several places where the road, the Grindavik road, could be actually truncated. And that, of course, is an issue. If you're stuck somewhere in there, in the Blue Lagoon, then uh, this might not be a good situation. So uh, from that point of view, be ready to um, evacuate from that area in case the eruption commences. So hazard three, uh, zone hazard um, th uh, three and zone four and six, they're also at very high hazard risk. The others are only considerable because they're only secondary, but these are the high ones are the ones where vents and new fissures are not uh, something we can really exclude. And uh, there we likely have a situation that would be continuing the Sundnuka row in if uh, zone three is indeed the eruption vent site. If it's in Grindavik in zone four, then a new vent is a possibility. And that could also uh, then, of course, cover buildings, cover houses, destroy infrastructure, uh, truncate roads again, and to potentially even threaten the harbor. So this would be, from a societal point of view, a much less fortunate spot for an eruption. So zone four is really not so good. Zone six could have the risk that lava comes down towards the coastal road and cuts off the coastal road. But as we see in the Islanders can probably fix that in a few days with a uh, uh, improvised road. So from that point of view, this might be bearable. So uh, as I said, two scenarios are offered. One is the Sundnuka road uh, 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 
own row erupting again and their warning times may be limited 30 minutes only and then the lavas as i said would go to the grindavik uh, area in one and a half hours and maybe the swartz again the hours or so and this is the other less pleasant uh, situation and that is that similar to the january situation we might actually have a fissure opening up inside the various in grindavik and that could be very unpleasant. So this is the current expectations. The eruption can commence in the foreseeable future, probably at any really given point. And uh, therefore we have to be on standby. It is possible that it does not come to an eruption, but the probability of that is at the moment smaller than the probability of a renewed eruption, at least from my perspective. Okay, thank you very much and all the very best.